Like we know we we know what each of our roles are, but at the same token, we also know that we're here to kind of lift each other and support one another, and that means that we don't go, oh, that rolls off limits. If Hey guys, Sarah here and Aaron. Welcome back to our channel. Today we decided to give you guys a fun little sit down video sharing our roles in our marriage and thought it would be interesting. I promised you guys that I was going to be do putting up more videos trying to teach you a little bit about us or share with you, you know, more about just how we do things and so this is one of those If videos. you're new to our channel, you may not know that I'm a stay-at-home mom and Aaron here is... Ah, what are you? What am I? I'm an engineer. <laughs> Aaron is an engineer, so he is the breadwinner of the family and so we definitely have different roles in here, but we still... Um, uh, we still share as much as possible. Yeah, we still share as much as possible. So we, we're going to just start off by, I guess, touching base on the core stuff, and then we'll get into the nitty gritty of exactly how we do stuff. But you, with you being the breadwinner, what do you think that your role generally is? Uh, to bring money. <laughs> that's, <laughs> to the, bring... that's the primary role of a breadwinner, is to earn as much money as possible. Right? Okay, yeah. Is it, is it to earn as much money as possible, or is it just to earn money? It's to provide for your family. Okay, to provide for my family. How does it feel to be the breadwinner? Um, I don't know. I don't ask myself that question. I just work as hard as I can. Okay, but you and have then, to have some feeling towards it. Um, I think I, I'm always wondering if it's if it's enough. <laughs> that's why I'm asking wow. myself. Wow, and this is definitely all the just this is an honest. Yeah, that's an honest. It's question. definitely like a male thing, right? It's like no matter how much there is, sometimes it's like, is it enough? And yeah, that's always it's a masculine thing. For me, on my role, I'm a stay-at-home mom, and this is a role that I'm in that I always said to Aaron that I would never do. When we were recording, when we were, we're talking, I said, "Oh, I would never be a stay-at-home mom," and here I am today. And it's a role that is, it's tough, but it's definitely enjoyable. It's really nice to be there for my kids all the time, but it's a role that you can easily get lost in as a mom at times. You know, when mm. you're kind of immersed in it. But I genuinely love it. I love being there for my kids and I get to provide them kind of what I didn't ha like I had good parents and I had but both, both my parents had to work. So I didn't, you know, didn't have that luxury of having them there all the time. And our kids have voiced how much they enjoy having me there. And I, I yeah, it's something I enjoy. So now that you guys have a background of, <laughs> I guess, our roles, um, I guess we can kind of break it down to you as to what our roles look like. So for you on the daily, what does your role look like? Getting up early, commuting, um, you know, doing a long day's work and then coming home and uh, commuting back home and, and trying to help out around the house as soon as I get in. Well, you don't, I mean, you don't. Do make, I do that? You don't, do, do not do go there. <laughs> you know, do I, I mean, do that's I it, I, it's nice to, right, no, no, you do, you do. Like when you come home, yeah, you try to. Make myself available? Make yourself available. Do that's I, a good way of saying it. Do I? I think so. Sometimes on my way home, I'll run some errands. Yeah. I'll do some grocery shopping. He is really, really good with doing that. That's been like the biggest help for me. But sometimes I do feel guilty. Sometimes I feel incredibly guilty because I feel like I'm here and I could be doing it, but I also have a lot of other things going on. I'm homeschooling the kids, and so I don't want to always break up their homeschooling to run out on, on the street. Sometimes I, I have the vlogs that I'm editing. I'm taking care of a toddler. <laughs> I've yeah. got, you know, just regular household things to do, cooking, lunch, trying to tidy up. And it's just, a, it's a lot. So I, I definitely appreciate when you're able to run errands. And sometimes I'm like, it makes so much more sense because for me, it is going to be a lot harder. You know, I also look at Zoe being the baby and having to carry her in a car and throw her in and take her out and just to run into a store and just for, you know, yeah. and it's a bigger, it's a bigger struggle. So if I can postpone it a little bit or have him pick it up, I definitely appreciate it. Or if we can just run to Costco, like Sarah from our tribe, well, Sarah from our tribe, many does not shop at Costco. But just if I, if, I, if I could really get down to that once a month shopping that she does, I would be all for it. Like you to just, yeah. yeah, 
it would be amazing to not have, because that's just the one thing. It's just, we're, we're, we're picking up food and it's a necessity, but I just kind of wish it wasn't as frequent. And I think that's also why we go grocery shopping so often is because I'm, I'm doing it most of the time. And so it's just me. And right. So I'm have to, I have to shop and carry everything out on my own and carry, you know, when I'm carrying everything in, the girls help me, but there's only so much one person can. But you're carrying a cart. <laughs> like, a lot of times a, I'm not carrying a cart. For me, it's so much easier when I go grocery shopping alone. That's I, it, from a, from a mom's perspective, I feel like being a mom and a stay at home mom, our minds go like, we're trying to think and cover all the bases, but there's mm -hmm. no perfection. But I'm always thinking about the kids too. Like to me, I'm like a Saturday morning is a perfect day to run out shopping. It's not always ideal just because it's busier and everyone else is now home, but it is conducive to being able to all go out quickly together. And I say quickly because it's not necessarily quick, but we do generally enjoy it when we do it. We've just been out of sync for a while and we haven't been doing it. Maybe it's the weather. Yeah, the weather is, we're in hibernation mode. But when we typically do, we enjoy it because we do go and we peruse through the store. It's not like a big rush per se. And then, you know, we come home and have, and just kind of hang out usually doing whatever we need to do. So, but on the other side of that, I know what it's like too, to also shop by myself. I think it's because you just get to move and do what you need. You know, you go in with on a mission and you just go in and you come out with your car and you load up your car and you get home. Like I don't, that part I don't think should be a struggle, <laughs> but I know you're tired on your way home. So when, perhaps that's the reason. <laughs> perhaps you're just tired. Oh so, yeah. Moving on from that. Yeah. Aaron, it's really nice that Aaron does make himself available in the evening, especially when the kids have activities and stuff to do. Like we're in a really tough season of life right now where, where I also have my studies and I'm managing two channels and, you know, filming and editing and posting, mm -hmm. uh, requires time. And I have to do that around taking care of a toddler and cooking meals and, doing all that other stuff. Mm -hmm. So this is where the help really does come in with um, our overall take on our ro on roles in the house. Obviously, I'm here all day, so I do take it up on myself to try to do as much as I can, and I do take it up on myself to clean and cook and do all of those things. Yep. But at the same token, Aaron is able to help in certain areas. <laughs> she doesn't cook. <laughs> you don't cook. I think that's probably like the only thing I don't really do. You don't cook. Like, I'll cook. If I asked you, you would. I know you would. If I, I would cook, yeah. If yeah. I, if she asked me to. Yeah. And, um, you know, fast, you know, like pre-prepared foods I'll make. Like, yeah. But I, and that's like, the thing. I don't shop. The, if they see my grocery hauls, they know that we don't buy a ton of that. We don't buy a ton of that. <laughs> so. But I probably, we probably should just pick up a little bit in this season just to help us out. But you, he, you don't oppose to helping with washing dishes. No, I don't. Yeah, I don't ask, you know, questions about washing dishes. What else do I do? Laundry, Laundry sweeping, sweeping, stuff you know, like that. And, and mind you, like I said, he's not doing it like that on the regular. But he doesn't. Yeah. He doesn't mind helping out if we need to, or if he sees it and he, and he, it needs to get done. But when he comes home, like I also take it up on myself to kind of create the space, if I can, where you know, for him to just relax. I don't usually just jump you into stuff. But that's where no, the, no, you don't, you not, don't not throw you into yeah, stuff. No, <laughs> but that's where the guilt from the grocery shopping comes in because I feel like when I am asking you to do that, it is kind of throwing you into it. This is yeah, I, <laughs> no usually, I usually offer. Yeah, you're usually asking. I'm always me, asking like, do you guys need, need me to stop? Something. To yeah, grab something. Or... You do. In terms of doing stuff around the house, we both kind of take it up on ourselves. We just came back from shoveling outside and. We both, she, yeah, she helped me I went out and helped him. Or I helped her. No. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. You can do it right there. <laughs> but we both, yeah, we both um, do whatever we need to do. Even in question, I saw a question and someone asked about like, who does, like, does he help to change diapers and stuff like that? And that was, he's always helped to change diapers. Even like so far with Zoe, I've kind of just taken up on myself. I'm usually around if I'm not then yes, he will, but not a big deal. Yeah, not a big deal. I mean, I have no problems with being asked to do that kind of stuff. These things are like... She's my daughter too. So. But these things are make or break. Why do you think these things are such like a struggle for a lot of couples? Because of, do you think it's because of the gender roles that are put up on? 
Uh, I think, yeah, I think so. I think, like, what's expected of, of men or women, mm-hmm. right? Women, like, if they're going to stay at home, then they're expected to do the dishes, laundry, cleaning, you know what I mean? That kind of stuff. And I guess if a man was going to be a stay-at-home dad, I don't know, those expectations might shift to him, mm-hmm. right? I guess it's like, if someone's staying at home, maybe they're expected to do things around the house that the person that's not at home shouldn't be expected to do, mm-hmm. right? But I don't, that's not the case, right? So, I mean, I think um, in, in our household, it's not expected of that. You know, I, I know Sarah's always busy, um, and I'm busy, and then we're at home, and we're busy together, mm-hmm. right? And the thing is, I feel like we've kind of grown in this role. It wasn't always this easy. When we first got into our relationship, I took it up on myself. Like I was like, oh, I'm a housewife, so I need to do this and do this and do this and do this. And it's like the reality of that mentality is that the job is endless. It's like, endless, yeah. There's, no, there's just no end to it because, you know, you just got to do any do things when they're there. And there's always something to be done. That's why I told Aaron when he said he wanted to buy a big house. It's like there's a lot to do in a big house. It's just a lot to do in any oh, house. Any house. It's but then when you have a big house with a lot of things yeah. and a lot of spaces and crevices, it's a lot to maintain it's when awesome. you don't have a cleaning lady coming in. Can we have a cleaning lady coming in? We will not have a cleaning lady coming in. <laughs> you win. We're not having a cleaning man come in here either. <laughs> just to put it out there, guys. But yeah, we don't mind sharing roles uh, for instance when aaron is outside taking care of his vehicle in the summer i'll be out there with him just standing over him at times right i'll come yeah. out and help you that's right i mean i'll help you physically doing stuff if you actually you do i am like the second handyman in this house because he's always calling me <laughs> whenever you need assistance i help you move giant furniture oversized furniture that i should not be lifting <laughs> because my back hurts <laughs> so true guys but you know we just have to do what we have to do and yeah, like I, I'm not prissy like that. I don't, no, I yeah. don't oppose to anything. Like I'm doing all the things with him, and he's doing all the things with me. So. And I get the girls involved too. Yeah, the girls. Like they, they like to do that kind of stuff. Yeah, they come out and either pass you the tools or yeah, you know, do that kind. Of, yeah. Yeah, so, they don't have any issues either. So Nothing overall, either. we have specific roles in our home, given that we, um, I'm a stay-at-home mom and Aaron. Is the breadwinner, but at the same token, we yeah we, we don't paint people yeah with a certain role yeah we don't paint exactly we we know what each of our roles are, but at the same token, we also know that we're here to kind of lift each other and support one another, and that means that we don't go oh that rolls off limits if there's like a pile of dishes and someone's sick they're gonna be like oh I'm not yeah. gonna wash those dishes not like Sarah you, you didn't wash the dishes you yeah do that now or I can't do that because or- that. You know, yeah, that would be ridiculous. Or Aaron, you didn't do the laundry, get no. to it. No, no, no. it's just like whatever needs to get done, um, and someone's able to do it. Yeah, that's about it. So, yeah, that's us sharing some realness. I don't know what you can take from it. What could they take from watching this video? I think we should just try to be helpful to one another. But what could they take specifically from it? Oh, and say, I guess if there's anything to take from this video, is to learn to work as a team. That's what I would say. Yeah. Is teamwork is the dream work. Okay, okay, I'm not Michael Jackson. I don't know who that's sing supposed that, to be. Sing that again. <laughs> but I can't sing guys, so I'm not gonna But sing. teamwork is the dream work. Like you have to work together. And when we're I mean we're sitting here talking and it's all smiles because sometimes we butt heads and I'm like, you should need to go do that. But in all honesty, like in all honesty, when it comes down to it, we both know what we got to do and it's it's basically working together and because if you don't do that you're just going to butt heads and it's going to not lead to a good time and who wants to be stuck in a marriage when you're not having a good time no yeah no one does. so you have to learn to not only coexist being two different people but you got to learn to be able to do anything that the next person can do <laughs> maybe not i think so too yeah i think i think if you if you're going to lay a lot of weight on people it's going to lead to resentment yes I think that's what it would have led to. If there were roles here... That's very specific. That were specific. Yeah. I think there would be some resentment. You know, when someone doesn't do something, yeah, people would start to get upset. Exactly. So anyways, we're going to stop from making this video extra, extra long. If you guys want to know more about us, leave... Um, 
so video suggestions down below because there are other videos that I'm not even sure of that are out there and we would definitely like to do them. We are going to do some more Q&As. I'm going to do the who knows me better, which just I think is something we've done before, but obviously there are so many questions that we could answer. Um, and yeah, don't forget to give today's video a big like. And until next time, much love, guys. Much love, guys.